Hi friends, <laughs> welcome to the Pyjama Party collaboration and me, So Frost from Frosty Eye Candy. Thank you so much for joining us guys. I would love to give a big shout out to the people that were just before me. That's Kristen and Kayla, aren't they adorable and cute? And didn't they make some beautiful art? And then following me, after me, Laszlo the Leopard for today, is going to be the wonderful Mitchell Grimmer. And welcome to the competition to win yourself 10 piggies. You're going to be listening out for my favourite piggy that's going to be mentioned in the video somewhere. And most of you that watch the beginning of the video know all about the competition. Unfortunately, I don't know the closing date or when they're going to choose a winner yet, and I've got to get this video done. So I'm going to put those details as soon as I get them in the description box of this video. Okay, so I'd love to give a big shout out to Nathan, of course, as well for organizing this and a big shout out to TLP and Billy for organizing and donating such a wonderful prize package. Okay, so let's have a look at what I made. It's still actually drying right now, so it's wet in the middle. I don't want to touch it. I've been trying to get this done all week and the painting gods have just not been with me. As you know, sometimes they're just not with us. Uh, and I only painted this last night, so it's kind of almost touch dry, but here we go. Here is the finished piece and obviously not resin yet because it's still quite wet in the middle there. But anyway, you're getting that beautiful look at this, the comet and the lovely kind of ready violet we're getting color from it there and now let's get it on this light and pow you can see the gold of the comet oh, absolutely beautiful now i also wanted to make the pillow one of the lovely sparkly starry night pillows and again i've been saying been trying all week and it just wasn't working nothing was working at all so i just thought flip it let's get it done and i made this one last night so i was going for a nebula uh, I like to think it would look more like a nebula if we had the starry night background, but I still think it's really pretty anyway, and quite a lovely piece. So how did I get to this? Oh, let's run through some colors for you. First of all, we've got the wonderful nebula. There we go, nebula, and it's uh, semi-transparent and it's beautiful pigment from TLP. It's this lovely, really dark kind of charcoal color. It has a lovely green flash one way and then a blue-ish flash the other way. It's fantastic and that's the first one we're going to use. And amazingly, my favourite piggy is not in the lineup here. I know, it's crazy, isn't it? The next paint we're putting down, it's a tube paint and it's going to be the Liquitex. Uh, this is the fluorescent blue and it's semi-opaque right there, as you can see. Then we're going to be using a gorgeous colour constellation by this little piggy. Look at that. Here we go. It's this fantastic, lovely, deep royal purple color with this beautiful blue flash to it. It's just tremendous. And it itself is still semi-transparent as we can see there. And then it wouldn't have been a proper change without using, of course, one of the interference pigments. And this one is Comet. Now I'll tell you, Comet came in a very close second to my number one favorite piggy. But there we go, that's Comet. It's this fantastic interference pigment. It has this beautiful gold flash one way. And then on the other side, it has this lovely kind of violet flash. As we just saw in this, that's what's making, there you go, there's the gold and then the gold into the violet. So, fantastic. I am gonna stop waffling, whiffy waffle and chitty chatting. I am going to get the camera pointing down and we're gonna start having some fun. And yes, the pajama party. I don't wear this to bed, <laughs> obviously not. Um, I don't have pajamas, so I hope this isn't a cop out for you. <laughs> okay, friends, we'll get the camera pointing down and we're gonna have some fun with some paint. friends first thing i hope you enjoyed that little funny skit of big cats play too and now also I've got to tell you that this is an 11 by 14 cradle and it's the better quality cradle from the art store they're around about twice the price 
from the alternative cradles you can get in the dollar store. However, these ones are constructed far more sturdily with a much thicker frame and also a two-ply sheet of wood for the top as opposed to the single ply you get from the dollar store. So while I've been waffling on that colour we're putting down there, my friends, that is the TLP and Nebula. It's a lovely kind of... Oh, here you go. There's a good trick, guys. If you ever get a little dot of paint somewhere you don't want, just gently touch it with your finger and it's gone. But yes, the beautiful Nebula, kind of a charcoal grey, dries black and has this fantastic kind of green, blue colour shift to it. And now this colour we're putting down, this is the Liquitex Basics, soft body acrylic, and this is the fluorescent blue. And as you can see, I'm not adding the fluorescent blue to the, to the outside areas, the little lines there we're gonna leave for the frosty mods. We want those nice and subtle, just with the two colours of Nebula, and then this gorgeous colour we're putting down right here, this is Constellation. And can't help it, Constellation is such a beautiful colour. Putting just down a little more as well. Gorgeous purple colour with a blue flash to it. And this is the colour we're putting down. Uh, this is fantastic, of course. This is the Comet by TLP. It's an interference gold slash kind of red, magenta, or well, no, more red, violet, I would say. But yes, one way it looks violet, and the other way it's got this beautiful gold flash to it. It's a fantastic piggy, and very, very second, uh, close second to my favourite piggy that I'll be telling you about very soon, or at least mentioning the name of. So the cell activator we're using, it's the Shelly Art Recipe, Hi there, Shelley. Thank you so much for inspiring us all with your fantastic art. And that's the Shelley Art Cell Activator Recipe of Amsterdam Paint and Australian Flow Troll. Now, I tried this before several times. I've been trying to do this for a long time and my mojo just has not been working with me. So I busted, uh, I took out a few of the colors, brought it back to basics again, I tried to swipe one time and it just really didn't come out prettily at all. So I figured, aha, let's do the bloom vines. And then hopefully with some nice modifications, we can get this to look a little more like a nebula. I really wanted to make the sparkly starry night pillow. So we had the stars in the background just twinkling away, it would have made it look even more like a nebula. But uh, as I said, I've been trying for a long time. The mountain where I live has just gone cold. We're in definite fall time. And uh, the ambient house temperatures are changing. And no matter what I do, my, <laughs> my pigments are, and my paints are coming up really thick. But this one managed to work well enough. And I was happy with it to present to you guys. So as you see, I'm just blowing out the cell activator and the colors over each other. And I love when we can get a little bit of the interference cover there, the comet, blowing it out into a fan out over the black pillow. It really gives a beautiful kind of, kind of nebula or aurora borealis kind of effect, I like to think anyway. So just the last couple of little blows and then we go for super slow-mo so you can see me do the frosty mods. I figured if we make it super slow like this, you guys can really follow what I'm doing and be able to recreate lovely patterns like this for yourselves. Excellent. And then you see just the last bit, a little spiral into the bloom vine or the swipe, just to kind of marry the two up together so we have some beautiful dynamic movement with our modifications. And then we go for the super slow-mo for the top frosty mods as well. I call them frosty mods because I've never seen anybody that adds extra lines of color purely for the point of modification outside the actual fluid art technique area that you've used. 
here we go, super slow-mo again. You can watch me just dragging that beautiful constellation and that nebula through each other and then just incorporating them into the flow of the bloom vine quite nicely. So I'm going to do a few more modifications here, friends. And as you know, you've got to wipe your little modification tool each time you do it. Otherwise, you're going to run the risk of dragging unwanted colours through each other. But again, if you are modifying, try it and see what it looks like when you do intentionally drag colours through each other. While we're watching me do this, I would love to give another shout out to the lovely Nathan for organising this fabulous collaboration and for asking me to join. I felt very humbled with many of the artists that are here with us and I hope I did you proud, Nathan, and I hope everybody likes what I did here and we did the whole pig, pig jama party well. I don't know why I have a trouble saying that. So while we're just waiting, we for, to, waiting for me to do the last little modifications, as I said at the beginning of the film, I didn't have the closing date and the draw dates for this competition, but the winners will be announced November 1st, 7.30 p.m. in uh, Eastern North America, 4.30 p.m. in the Eastern, sorry, 7.30 p.m. in Eastern and 4.30 p.m. in Pacific time. And that's going to be November 2nd, 10.30 a.m. in Australia. So I would get your, get your answers in by then. Just going for the last little kind of modifications and out for the wide shot and you can see the spin. I love leaving my spins in real time guys just for the people that are watching for the first time and the beginners that are learning so they can see exactly how fast and how long I spin for. I let my pieces spin just a little bit longer than most just to give the paint a good chance to make it to the edge and float down nicely over the canvas. Just checking it for movement after the first spin. And the piggies are giving you a nice little show there of the golden violet. So just a little bit of clean up because we don't want those stray drips of paint to go flying off and around the kitchen. And we go in for the anti-clockwise spin again in real time so those learning can get a real idea of how we make this art. And then we go for a nice close-up. Wow. Well, that's my interpretation of a nebula or a galaxy pool. We are using the galaxy uh, for colours, I like to feel. I'm using a very simplified, broken-down version of them. And I was going for a nebula. I'm going to do myself the artistic license and say, yes, it looks like a nebula. <laughs> but I'm very pleased with the piece and how it came out. The modifications look very beautiful, uh, together with the little blown out parts of the interference colour comet there over the back pillow, really giving us a good chance to shine and show us all she's got. So I'm just checking the piece for movement. And here we go, guys, for a nice close-up. I'll start fire out and we'll get in nice and close in a minute, but you can really see those piggies singing together, the uh, nebula, constellation, and the comet there. Wow, fantastic. So I'd better tell you my favorite piggy, and I'm gonna tell you now, my favorite piggy is Twinkle. So my answer in the last video, you'll need to say for Cyfrost, his favorite piggy is Twinkle. But here we go for a beautiful close-up of the piece, guys. And as you saw from the beginning of the video, it was drying really nicely. <laughs> it just had the middle to go. But there we are. So my friends, thank you so much. Please stay on the uh, premiere train. We have Mitchell Grimmer from Rains and Pours right next. And I'm going to do my best to get his name in the title. Please, thanks so much, my friends, and happy pouring.